What's going on YouTube? Another daily update for you today. This is uh, Monday and we got the Creality CR10 Max running. So this is a tricked out uh, CR10 Max with some uh, different mods to it. It has been sitting in my uh, office here for way too long. So uh, the story was client brought it to me with some modifications already done to it. He wanted to add a BL touch. He plugged it in to somewhere wrong on the motherboard and fried the motherboard. Um, at the time I had options on going with a stock motherboard that was going to take like two or three weeks to come in or in two or three days I could get a, uh, an upgraded motherboard that had UART and some other cool features. So I bought that one. <clears throat> now this was six months ago so obviously that didn't end up working out. I was never able to figure out exactly what the firmware issues were with that printer and why things weren't working. Um, and you know, unfortunately, I'm not a, a really good internet sleuth, so I, I, I didn't search the internet extensively for answers. And instead, I went for something that I knew worked. Um, so a while back, these weren't available at the time, otherwise, I just would have bought one of these initially. But when they finally did become available, I bought a handful of them because I know I'm going to end up putting these in some other ones. It took a while to get here, and then when it got here, we were super slammed. And essentially, the client has probably written this printer off but um or just is waiting for me to finally get back to him even though it's been a long time um and unfortunately it has but a couple days ago <clears throat> i finally got it running again so due to unfortunately how busy i am with business and work this printer has been giving me some jamming problems and i'm not quite sure what it is i'm gonna have to change the hot end out um from that j nozzle because there's just something with that j nozzle setup that just keeps jamming it and it doesn't <clears throat> doesn't make any sense to me why um, unless like the heater mid print is going on I don't know it's there's just something not working right with it where <clears throat> where it's sticking um, so I got this one together just so I could knock out a customer's print real quick now that it's actually working again we'll be hitting up the client and letting him know but I wanted to show what this was and what we did to it so this is a large K version 2.1 <clears throat> and <clears throat> excuse me hey yeah sorry got someone in the background talking um sorry I got distracted by stuff in the background here I'll start with what the client put on here so he put a true Vontech a proper uh, <clears throat> extruder setup this is pretty nice we kept he kept it on the same uh, wheels the same setup here he did he if he does want to do uh, BL touch he can do that or a different induction sensor so I've wired all that up there um, essentially what I had to do was redo the entire wiring so this was set up for the CR10 max wiring as we can see all this is now separate um, <clears throat> a lot of splicing in here done right everything's soldered everything's heat shrinked and then zip tied and what I'm going to recommend to the client is, hey, cable chain it. Cable chain will save from one of these type of things that will eventually kind of wear the wires out because they're constantly getting, you know, pulled a little bit. You could probably do one with less resistance. This one's a little stronger than I expected. But um, that does keep those long wires out of there. What else? He also put this uh, Wham Bam PEX flexible sheet on here so you can literally take the whole bed off. <clears throat> and then this motherboard... That's what I was going at is Lurge K. So what makes them nice is all the software is already in here. You don't do any firmware flashes or anything. And I'll go through a different video explaining the firmware of this one a bit better because this one's printing. But I'll show you what we can do while it's printing. So while it's printing, you can end up changing all your multipliers, um, all your heat beds, your cooling fans, the light, um, shut down after printer. So there's quite a bit of neat stuff. Um, <clears throat> that can be uh, that can be added here. Um, you can pause. You can stop. Um, but yeah, and then the board itself has six steppers, so you can do dual E. So you can have two nozzles, and you can have two Zs, or you could have two Xs um, or Ys. It just depends on how you want to set it up. But there's a lot of neat features with this guy I really like it really smooth steppers as you can hear the printers just whisper quiet and it uh, the levels obviously a little off here I'm still working on it 
but um, it's not too bad. So since, since this first layer, I've adjusted the screws down on this side and that side. This is the first big print. I did a 60 millimeter by 60 millimeter cube. Came out perfect, two spec according to my uh, calipers. So um, this should be should be on point here. Uh, but you change all your steppers inside the software. You change everything else in there. You've got slots for your heat bed and your hot end. And then a, a little plug in here for your power. So all this is under there. Um, you got RGB LEDs, LEDs, testing. We got our hot, hot bed and hot fan sensor. There's our little, this is actually plugged into this fan here. Um, I have the hot end fan just wired in, but otherwise your hot end fan doesn't have to always be on. Um, that'll prevent that. You'll have your park cooling fans. Um, put the heat sinks on here. This one's not being used. There's no wire here, so I didn't, uh, didn't put a heat sink on it but um, <clears throat> without the fan one of these was getting really hot so I decided a fan would be a good idea then you got your your end stops here and then just plugging in your motors and then you can load files through USB or through micro SD um, there's your cable for your screen but um, these are really nice this six stepper setup I think it's like 150 or something like that 160 maybe it might be a little less than that depends on the time and who's selling it I, I've seen them go for up to to 180 I've even seen people post them at 300 um, but I think I've seen them as low as close to 100 you know maybe with shipping 130 something like that so it's really not bad for all the inclusive features and the fact that you don't have to flash any firmware to it um, it just works um, so I've, I've got that on this one here and I've got it on that printer there, and I maybe one day we'll put it in that one, and maybe one day we'll put it in that one too. I'll probably put it in that one sooner than later because I kind of need some printers now, and I got the motherboard laying around. So if it's not too hard, that one in the background might be getting a swap soon. Because so we've got a lot of production to do, and we've taken in some really big orders, um, so we need printers. But uh, awesome. Well, I got a phone call coming in. That was another deal dropping there, but I just want to show this off. That it does work you can do it took me a lot longer than it should have but um i'm finally happy that this is done and uh printing so thanks